migrating data from Databricks file system to Unity catalog involves moving data from workspace specific storage to a centralized and governed data platform. DBFS is tied to individual workspaces, making it difficult to share data securely or manage access consistently across multiple teams. Unity Catalog solves that problem by providing a single layer for data governance and access control, which ensures that data is not only easier to manage, but also easier to secure. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to load data to Databricks file system and how you can migrate the data to Unity Catalog for enhanced data governance, improved security and better data management. Therefore, let's get started. Now, as usual, I'm going to show you the sample data set. So, I'm going to come to the CSV, and of course, this is sales2015.csv with this number of columns and 20 rows. So, we want to come to the Databricks platform, and first, we want to make sure that your compute is running. And I'm going to click on catalog, and we want to create a catalog and a schema that's going to hold the data that we're going to ingest from the Databricks file system. So to create a catalog, I'm going to click on the plus sign and then add a catalog. I'm going to give this a meaningful name called my data catalog. And this is going to be a standard type. And I'm going to choose the storage location, which is going to be the cornerstone underscore Databricks. And then click on create. Okay, catalog has been created. So we can configure the catalog. So click on configure catalog. And then we can allow this catalog to be used across the workspaces, so which is fine. And then I can grant some privileges. Now, in a production environment, you don't want to grant privileges to all your users. But in this case, I'm just going to grant the privilege to all user accounts. I can even search for my name and I can just pick that and I can go on and specify the privilege preset. So we have the data reader and data editor. Now the editor can read and modify any object in the catalog as well as create new cat objects. So I'm gonna choose this. Now in a production environment, you don't wanna actually do this anyway. So I'm just gonna click on grant. So when I scroll down, I'm gonna see the list of the privileges we've granted to that user and then click on next. So I can click on next on this. So we've configured the My Data Catalog. So we want to go ahead and create a schema within the catalog. So again, click on the New Catalog and then click on Create Schema. I'm going to call it Sales Data Schema. And I'm going to choose the location, the same location, and then click on Create. So the schema has been created. Now we don't have any data. So we're going to actually go ahead and load the data into the Databricks file system. And then we're going to write some piece of code to perform the read and write into this sales data schema as a delta table. So I'm going to come here again, click on this. And as soon as I click back on the catalog, I can see delta sharing external data and browse dbfs and we can even see the add data i want to focus on this deprecated or legacy storage account so i'm going to click on this dbfx fs and then i can see this is the part of the table and i can click on this upload to upload the data so i'm going to click on drag a file into this environment and i'm going to choose that specific file we'll be using for my videos so i'm going to come here and we have the sales2015.csv I can click on done and then we have the sales2015.csv. Now I'm going to right click and copy the path which I'm going to use later when I'm reading data. So I can copy the Spark um, API format or even file API format, anyone is fine. So let me just copy um, this and I can close this tab and I can go ahead and create a new notebook. So I'm going to click on new and then create a notebook. In the notebook, we're going to read the CSV file from the DBFX storage location. So I'm going to do DF equals spark.read.csv because our data is a comma separated value. So I'm going to open two brackets and then press Ctrl V to paste what I copied. And I'm going to come outside the double quotes and put in a comma. So our data contain errors. So I can say, so, hey, this is true. And then we can also infer the schema. So it's going to also be equal to true. So I can use the display function to display the DF. So open the brackets, DF, and press Control, Enter. 
amazing. So we are able to successfully read the CSV file from the Databricks file system. So we want to go and write the data frame into a Unity catalog that we just created. So I'm going to scroll down and create a new cell at the bottom. So I'm going to do the DF that we defined at the top and we're going to use the write function and we're going to specify the form of the delta. So inside double quote, I'm going to write the delta and then we can also specify the save as table. So I'm going to type in the save as table and then I can provide the name of the unity catalog. Now the name is my underscore data underscore catalog. So I'm going to carefully type that inside double quote my underscore data underscore catalog and I'm going to put in a comma and then I can specify the name of the schema which is sales underscore data underscore schema. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to type in sales underscore um, data underscore schema and then I can type in the name of the table. Let's just call it um, sales as the table name and this is going to be what we need to do. So I'm going to press control enter to run the code and let's see. So I'm going to click on this to expand. Now we're going to see the sales in it, which is absolutely cool. Now, when I click on this, I can see all the columns, which is absolutely amazing. Now, we can query this unit catalog data now. So, I'm going to create a new cell at the bottom, and I'm going to use the star and SQL. So, we want to query this using the SQL language, so I can perform a select star from. So, I'm going to provide the name of the catalog, which is my data. So, I'm going to type in my data catalog, and I want to refer to the sales data schema and the sales table name. So I can press control enter to run the code. Okay, so we can see we have the data now in the Unity catalog. Now we can go back to the catalog and then go back to the browse DBFX and then we can delete this data. So right click and then delete the data. So now we can stick with the data now ingested into our Unity uh, catalog. So this is how we can migrate data from Databricks file system to Unity catalog for enhanced data governance and better data management. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.